Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the gallbladder and bile. Um, so the gallbladder is just this little organ. It's always depicted as being green because bile has a green color. So it kind of tints uh, the gallbladder and all those ducts green. Um, and literally, physically, it is green uh, because of the bile. So it's a pear-shaped sac that hangs from the lower front margin of the liver. Um, so it's an organ that is really just for storing bile. Uh, the liver produces bile, and if we don't need it right this minute, um, that bile travels down to be stored in the gallbladder so that it's ready when we eat fats because we need bile to help us break down fats. Um, so it's stored in the gallbladder until we need it. So it's just kind of a little squeezy bag of <laughs> bile. Um, and so it contracts to eject its bile out into these ducts, which then leads into the duodenum, the small intestine, um, where it can help to break down fat. Um, so secretion of bile is stimulated by cholecystokinins. So that's a hormone secreted by the duodenum uh, during intestinal, the intestinal phase of digestion. Okay, so when fat enters into, or fat or protein enters into the duodenum, that stimulates secretion of cholecystokinin. That's a hormone that's secreted by the duodenum. And that hormone tells the gallbladder that it needs to send bile down to help with digestion um, in the duodenum. So bile is a substance that is secreted by the liver. So the liver manufactures the bile. Um, and then again, like I said, if we are not, if we don't currently need it right now, then that bile travels to the gallbladder to be stored for when we do need it. Um, if we need it right now, then the bile can travel directly from the liver to the duodenum. Um, but if we're not eating, then we can just store it and save it for later. So a bile is made of 95% water and then 5% solutes. So all sorts of things, bile salts, bilirubin phospholipid, um, cholesterol, amino acids, steroids, enzymes, all sorts of different things, including um, all sorts of things that the liver is detoxifying from the blood. So the liver is pulling things out of the blood uh, that are very toxic to us. So the liver will transform it into other things. Like, uh, for example, it'll, the liver will transform ammonia into uric acid. Um, because ammonia is very toxic to us and uric acid less so. So it'll transform ammonia into uric acid and the uric acid goes back into circulation and the kidneys filter out the uric acid and that goes into the urine. So that's one example. Um, but the liver can't transform everything into something easier. And so rather than put these uh, very toxic things back into circulation and hoping that the kidneys will get it out before it becomes a problem, the liver will excrete it via the bile. Um, so bile is a mechanism of excretion for the liver. So um, things that it can't break down, like penicillin and <laughs> certain medications, certain kinds of toxins, where it can't transform it into something more neutral, it will just put into the bile. And then the bile is getting sent to the intestines. And so those toxins will just remain in the contents of the intestines to be excreted through the excrement. Um, so that could be heavy metals, uh, excessive vitamins when we have them too many, when we have them in excess. Um, and so bile for one helps the liver excrete bad stuff that we don't want to go back into circulation. Uh, but then of course, bile has the important job of helping us to digest lipids. So without bile and without a gallbladder to store a sufficient amount of bile, we're not able to break down fats sufficiently when we eat them. So somebody who loses their gallbladder um, is going to have to be very careful about how much fat they eat and in what quantities at one time, because they won't have enough bile to break it down and they'll end up with fatty stool and, and diarrhea as a result. Um, gallstones are just like kidney stones, but of course they are stones that form in the gallbladder. So those are hardened deposits. In this case, it's of bile um, that can form in the gallbladder. And they might form if uh, bile contains too much cholesterol or bilirubin. So we have too many solutes and they'll sort of collect and form these stones. Um, it could be if bile does not contain enough bile salts, which help break things down. 
um, or the gallbladder does not empty completely or often enough. So if we're not using bile frequently enough, and so it's not evacuating, or the gallbladder is not contracting sufficiently to fully empty it when we empty the gallbladder, um, then there's there can be some solutes and residues and things that remain behind and over time form gallstones. Uh, so often if somebody has gallstones, um, they do have their gallbladder removed, um, but there could be other treatments up until that point, depending on the severity and how often it's happening. Um, we don't want to lose the gallbladder if we can help it. You know, of course we can live without the gallbladder, but you have to really change your diet and avoid, um, as I mentioned, you can't have too many fats in your diet, um, which, which kind of stinks. <laughs> Um, it's not clear what causes gallstones to occur, um, which is unfortunate because that makes it difficult to avoid. So it, it just, it might depend on diet. It might depend on other lifestyle factors or maybe not at all. And maybe it's completely just genetic predisposition, um, but it isn't clear and we don't know exactly why that happens. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.